Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. For a long time, the Raptors playing in Canada was seen by some as a detriment to their competitive prospects. Players dealt with issues like passports, different money, going through customs, and on and on. But now the Raptors use it as a strength, not as a weakness. They have a whole nation behind them. And they have Toronto, a diverse city with global engagement. Kevin? And the game is going global. You're right. Thank you, D.A. A lot of pace with these two teams, Doris. You were the primary ball handler when you played. What was your style? Well, I think, you know, the style that players want to play in, Kevin, are the fast-paced, open-floor styles, which really allows you to showcase, number one, if you're a skilled basketball player. Number two, do you have great athleticism? Is speed your best attribute? To me, a free-flowing, fast-paced uh, sort of read-and-react system is the absolute ideal style. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Holiday and Ingram out on the perimeter. Zion is the four with Favors at the five. And it's Ball in at the point. And for the Raptors, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Right Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Powell in at the small four. Lowry finds Gasol. Lowry against Favors. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist by Gasol. Well, small frame, the big heart. How about Kyle Lowry's toughness on the finish through contact? Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Here's Ball. Following the basket by Pascal Siakam. And Favors kicks to Ingram. And Gasol sends it back. This guy, the defensive anchor, Marc Gasol, twice on the pipes. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And another name included in that Anthony Davis trade, Brandon Ingram. Still a lot to like about his game. He pairs up well with what the Pelicans are trying to do. Perhaps the biggest asset coming over to New Orleans could flourish in this system. That one falls for Ingram. The second overall pick back in 2016, Brandon Ingram has shown us flashes. But whether it's defense or offense, still a ways to go. It's deflected. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing him to collect a good number of block shots. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And, Greg, when you talk about Ingram, where would you look for him to make the next step in his game? Well, uh, in that one season at Duke, he did shoot over 40% from three. Uh, I think becoming a reliable shooter from out there would be a key building block offensively. Otto shooting their first free throw of the night. Some changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Patrick McCaw in for Fred Van Vliet. The Pelicans also changing it up. Hayes, he's checked in for Favors. Josh Hart comes in for Brandon Ingram. And J.J. Redick is What's subbed up? in for Drew Holiday.
and Powell. No good on that one. And last season, the first ever NBA Finals for the Toronto Raptors. What a tremendous run, Greg. Think about it. In the Eastern Conference Finals, they go down 0-2 before winning four straight to close out the Bucks. And forget about the city of Toronto. The entire country of Canada was on fire for Raptors basketball. And how do they reward them? NBA championship. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Toronto. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Williams, he's checked in for Williamson. The free throw drops for Reddick. A whole new cast of characters for the Pelicans. Three promising first-round picks, Greg, and the young players acquired from the Lakers and veterans like Favors and Red. All of a sudden, a wealth of options for Alvin Gentry. We'll tell how they did in the AD trade, but seems like they're off to a nice start. Knocked away. Ball, the pass to Hart. The feed to Williams. Passes it to Ball. Shot clock at five. And he's good on the three ball. Ball's got five now. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Ibaka outside. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Well, Ibaka added the element of the three point shooting to his game and a time there. Shoot from 12. And the Raptors tech on two more. Pelicans leading by three. Hayes dishes the ball. It's stolen by Lowry. For the finish. Shots good by Ibaka. Boy, Kyle Lowry's defense paying dividends gets the strip and the score for his guys. Ibaka comes with the double team. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. And there's the pass to McCaw. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Doris, if you were going to build a team around one player, who would that player be? Well, I think because of his age and continued growth opportunity, I would probably say Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's playing at an MVP level. He's still got another decade where he's probably in the peak range of his playing capabilities. And the reality is Giannis still has so much growing to do. He's a, he's a force at the rim. He continues to build that three-point game. And, Kev, once he gets that in-between game, he will be unguardable. Mm -hmm. Can't argue with that at all. That free throw good from Holland. Jefferson. Well, think about it, guys. For years, the Raptors had been unable to translate all of that regular season success to dominance in the playoffs. But last season, they changed that narrative. Now it's, excuse me, we are the defending champion Toronto Raptors. And then focus on playoff results, uh, Doris. Something that Toronto embraced, wouldn't you say? Oh, my goodness, no doubt. We saw it in their methodical approach to the regular season. They were selective with their rest for Kawhi Leonard. They stayed patient. They built chemistry. And it turned into results, the ultimate results, in June. Here's Hart. No points in the game yet for him. Hits the three-point bomb. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. With the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. I'd say it's six foot eight with the elite athleticism. Good luck checking OG Ananobi on the interior. Alexander Walker passes to Reddick. Orleans moving it around. It's blocked. Ibaka, wide open, he fires. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. And it's eight points for Serge Ibaka. Outside, Reddick. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Van Vliet. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Pass to Alexander Walker. Inside, Reddick. 
score the basket his second of two attempts and they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint and here is Van Vliet to the wing on the left there's Alice Jefferson fouled on the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up what you call that power basketball by Hollis Jefferson he's willing to go right through the foul and this is his second trip to the line tonight And that drops, so they now lead by one. Well, the former Arizona Wildcat, Hollis Jefferson, right? He's a superb athlete, just oozing with potential. From deep three-point range, Serge Ibaka. He's been the guy making things happen for the Toronto Raptors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be back with you shortly. Marcus also appreciated by his fans and certainly a lot of Spanish speaking fans excited about his success. It's just fun. You see more fans on the stands and they speak Spanish. Um, even they're from Spain or um, Argentina, Mexico, whatever they're from, they, uh, they support the Spanish speaking people and they love the game also. And great to see so many different cultures and countries embrace the game. Yes, and, and with players like Gasol having so much success, I think it helps give those Latino and, and Spanish-speaking fans a connection to the NBA. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. And Van Bleed out there with Powell. And it's Hollis Jefferson in at the small forward position. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, Kyle Lowry is hard-nosed, as we all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. you got to be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. Kevin, that's what made him. From Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. I don't know about running into the metal pole, but that sounds, that sounds painful. He's certainly as tough as he can be. David, thank you. Doris, you've seen a lot of the Golden State Warriors. You've covered their last five finals appearances, their three championships. Where do you think the Warriors rank all time? Well, first of all, it's been a privilege to cover one of the great teams in NBA history. I do believe it's really hard to compare eras because if you think back to the 90s and the level of physicality that defenses were allowed to play with, you know, it's a drastically different game. It's played in much more open space. Steph Curry has completely changed the defensive geometry with his ability to shoot the basketball. But listen, for me, it's been a privilege to cover this great Warriors run. Now here's Williamson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. Here's Williamson, drills the elbow jumper. The confidence evident. Zion, no problem rising and firing away. That's a sign of a true leader. Now here's Van Vliet. Here's Gasol. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. 
Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And only six feet tall in shoes, Fred Van Vliet's not the biggest, but his toughness, his toughness mentally and physically is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him that perspective. Friends and family gone too soon. Basketball is the path to something better. Toronto. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And Gasol sends it back. Lowry finds Gasol. Back to Lowry. Lets it go from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Lowry's got the lead up to six now for Toronto. Well, his ball handling ability is well known. Shows him off there. Here's Holiday. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. Now here's Paul. He has five. And Gasol gets it to go. Well, Mark Gasol added this to his arsenal years ago, and now you've got to contest him at range. Double team on Holiday. It's stolen by Lowry. Here's Siakam. Yep, that one goes. And the Raptors lead by nine. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. That is a really pretty finish. Just gently dropped in the finger roll. And maybe the most popular player to enter the league since social media became truly pervasive. Zion Williamson handles it with class. He really appreciates his teammates and his coaches and really respects the game. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Siakam. And McCaw has subbed in for Hollis Jefferson. Free throw good from Williamson. And talking to stars in this league, even they want to see what Williamson's going to do next. Sure. We talk about the leaping ability at his size, the handles, the shot making. But what really stands out when you watch him live, the instincts. Being at the right place at the right time and always seeming to make the right play. And yeah, he, he's 280 pounds. We've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Pass to Favors. Launches a three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Wow, Favors not known as a floor spacer, but gets the range shot to fall. Shot's good by Ibaka. Ibaka's got 10 points. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Trailing by five to the inside. And the rejection by Lowry. Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Brandon Ingram. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school at a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. 
Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. And wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. Remember very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> the Raptors making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. So he hits one of two from the strike. Well, one thing there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. Now here's Ball. He has five. Williams passes to Reddick, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Seven points in the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Raptors leading by four. Here's McCall. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Basket good. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. Outside Reddick. It's tipped. Baca against Ball. Shots good by Ibaka. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Oh, that's blocked. To the paint. And Ibaka slams it in. Well, a high percentage scorer with a great shot selection. Ibaka knows when to send it home. A quick, good shot here, and they can go two for one. Well, you want to make sure you maximize that first shot in this two for one situation, though. Don't take a bad one just to accomplish it. Here's McCall following the basket by Lonzo Ball. Feeds it to Ibaka. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Ibaka's got the lead back up to 10 now for Toronto. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Williams. Defense is right there. Here's Ball. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. And that's 10 points for Lonzo Ball. And no doubt the release point is a bit unorthodox in terms of Ball's shooting technique. But man, can he slingshot it home from deep. And that concludes the first half. It's the Raptors. They're up by seven. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, they had control in the first half. How were they able to do that? Well, we turned the ball over, and our transition defense wasn't very good. Uh, we got to do a better job of executing, and we got to do a better job of just taking the shots that are available to us. One thing at a time gets you back in. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. A big night so far for Serge Ibaka. He had 16 points and one assist. He struggled in their last game, but he's not having any problems tonight. Really good first half for him. He was right on the mark. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from New Orleans? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any ball. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Serge Ibaka has been sensational. And you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now, let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Raptors leading by seven. Guys, 
How about the journey of the Raptors' Nick Nurse? So well traveled before taking the head job in Toronto. This guy has shown his worth in his first season as a head coach in the NBA. It translates to a title. Absolutely incredible. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So for New Orleans right now, Ball and Holiday combine at the guard spots. Ingram the three and Zion the four. And it's Favors in at the five. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, after five years as an assistant in Toronto, last season Nick Nurse moved to head coach of the Raptors, and the team responded, winning the franchise's first NBA championship. Nurse has been at this for three decades. He got his first head coaching position at the age of 23. And he has moved all throughout basketball, both domestically and abroad, guiding 15 teams in five different countries. And after winning it all last year, Kevin, he's finally made it to the top. David, he sure has a long and winding journey. Thank you. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And coach Nick Nurse paid some dues, Doris, before his turn as head coach of this Toronto team. Well, think about it. Early in his career, he's a player coach in the British Basketball League. Then he goes and establishes a G League franchise in his home state of Iowa. Then to lead that team to a title in 2011, join another G League team for the Raptors and win a title in 2013. Really an incredible journey, guys. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Toronto, they have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4 of 7 from the foul line tonight. Patrick McCaw, he's checked in for Miller. And New Orleans also making a change. Moore's checked in. The free throw off from Gasol. And just like his brother Powell, Mark Gasol active in humanitarian causes. I mean, we saw him volunteering on rescue boats in the Mediterranean. Mark doing his part, but also bringing attention to that humanitarian crisis. Mark. quarter of basketball about a minute and a half in here's Hart Wraps in the tray Hart's got six points well if you offer no resistance defensively he's gonna knock down the three it's really that simple guys knocks it loose Siakam with it and Siakam throws it down the athleticism of Pascal Siakam. So tough to corral when he's going on the dribble drive. To the middle, here's Holiday, and it's slammed in by Holiday. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two hand jam. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. Down low, here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think, Greg, it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. And, and no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And that one, good. Nine points for Mark Gasol. I love the catch and shoot game. Mark Gasol, so much confidence in that area. Now timeout called by New Orleans well it's been an express lane to the rim coach can't be happy about that well poor rotations poor communication there's a lot to figure out right now Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Changes. Serge Ibaka is checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Johnson in for Hollis Jefferson. Now here's Reddick. He has seven. Holiday gets the bucket. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Two seasons at Indiana for OG Ananobi and the 23rd pick of the 2017 draft. Great talk about his game. You know, NBA ready physically from day one. You know, still working for consistency with the shooting, especially at the free throw line. But I like his potential as a two-way player. On the free throw, no good. And it seems like every team is in search of the quote power wing. The guys that have the quickness to defend on the perimeter and the strength to battle inside. OG Ananobi certainly fits the bill. Here's McCall. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That's a double win, you guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stop. Let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And a 7-2 wingspan for Ananobi. He's got the reach, Doris, of a big man. He does, Kevin. He also has the strength of a big man. But he's got the versatility defensively to guard across four positions. It's about finding consistent minutes for OG because the potential is there, Kevin. And the Raptors with the ball. The Pelicans make their last shot. Holiday brings the double team. Toronto working the ball around now. Boy, Ibaka is such a great teammate. This guy is always willing to find the open man. Pelicans trail by 17. And the dunk by Williamson. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you, you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Good on the triple. Boucher's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that, Greg. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine, Kevin. Yeah. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. The Pelicans shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Some changes for New Orleans. Brandon Ingram comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Drew Holiday. What's up? Hayes, no good on the free throw. Boy, you look at all the athletes on this team. How about Pascal Siakam? This guy may be the fastest power forward in the NBA. And if you couple that with ball handling, this guy is tremendous in transition. Passes to Hayes. That one drops for him. Hayes has got eight points. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Ingram wide open and another three for New Orleans and really an underrated playmaker Williamson with good court vision and solid decision making and so it's Toronto holding on to an 11 point cushion as we get ready to take a break their shooting has been the big key their percentage from the field so far has been terrific we'll get right back to the action when we return
Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Arian Powell, the guards. And it's Ibaka in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Here's Siakam. That one falls. And the Raptors lead by 13. So fast to get out and transition. Pascal Siakam dangerous in the open floor. Again, New Orleans turns it over. The Raptors making a switch here. Hollis Jefferson's checked in. with another bucket. You've got to be encouraged by the signs of progress from Hollis Jefferson. He's got to continue to improve this mid-range. It's stolen by Ibaka. He feeds it to Lowry. And the shot goes in. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. I'll tell you, solid concentration from the big man. Derek Favors fights through the contact thanks to all of that strength in his upper body. And one of the best defensive big men in the league, Derek Favors. You're right, Kevin, because he's got the body to play bully ball, but the lateral quickness to deal with smaller players. When this guy gets down in his stance, he can cover Find some the ground defensively. Find the lane. One shot. That one misses for Favors. Well, I think, Kevin, most people would say Derek Favors a throwback big man, right? The guy wants to be effective at posting up, but he can shoot the face-up jump shot as well. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. They get a hand on it, and stolen by Kyle Lowry. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, Greg, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And that one misses. How much fun is it to watch this kid? I call Zion Williamson a kid, even though he goes about 280, and he has a certain composure that really belies his years. Lowry's shot is good. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Well, they won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. Well, this is their pace. This is exactly how they want to play. A little fast, a little loose. Lowry brings the double, poked away. Ball finds favor to end the run. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. Raptors leading by 22. And with Williamson, it's not just the obvious stuff that impresses you, Greg. It's the little things as well, the attention to detail. You know, Kevin, one thing that stands out to me, every time I see this young man, the eye-hand coordination, whether it's on steals, deflections, block shots, he always seems to pick it cleanly. Toronto calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath.
Van Vliet is checked in for the Raptors. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. Now the pass to Powell. And Ball comes to help. Lowry has the open look. Drills the three-pointer. Lowry's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Raptors. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Well, the wingspan of Pascal Siakam makes that dunk look easy. And Derek Favors with the slam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now, here is Lowry. Powell, no one around him. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got five assists in the game. Lowry brings the double. Ball against Lowry. Outside, Holiday. Outside, Favors. Looking for Ingram. He gets it in there. Another one falls for New Orleans. And you can't do much about that. The contest was there, but Ingram outstanding at just ignoring the defensive effort. Now, here is Lowry. 130 left to play here in the fourth. And it's blocked. And ball using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Raptors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kyle Lowry. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Shooting two. That free throw good from Williamson. And we first heard about Williamson in high school. And that was due to his dunking ability. Now he's a full-fledged star on the rise. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Boucher is checked in. Johnson comes in for Norman Powell. Miller's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And it's Payne in for Kyle Lowry. That one misses. Listen, it's only one miss, but it hurts all the same as they try to cut into this lead. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Here's Alexander Walker. Clock at six. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. It's good from long range. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Pain, and the basket is good. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork, GA. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now Johnson. And so 
Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Serge, big win tonight. Now, people may think you have some easy games on the schedule, but you did not play easy tonight. Of course, we know where we want to go, you know. That's why he was focused tonight. We got to finish strong. And it was a strong performance, Serge. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.